Hello, I'm Kenny from Alibot, and I wanted to briefly talk to you about a new product that I found um, advertised on Reddit by the creator, um, whose website is knightsoftheeditingtable.com. Uh, and I tell you that because it's kind of hard to find. Anyway, what this app does, it's called Watchtower, and it is a tiny little extension in Premiere and After Effects that automatically imports your file structure from Windows or Mac. So I have a, a made up project here. So normally, as you may know, or as hopefully you know, organization is easily the most important part of editing. You know, the skill comes, but it, it's very easy to lose track of changes or what you're doing. It's, it's much quicker to start, take a lot of time and organize your footage and your products and stuff. So here I have, or um, photos and stuff, music, whatever. So here I have a example of when I was using the Blackmagic Pocket 6K. So I've got an audio folder with sound, music, VO. I've got a documents folder that I don't really use. Exports, social and web, media, footage, you know, there it all is. Now this obviously is a little uh, not quite organized, but there's two folders here for one was the Osmo Action, and this one was um, all the B-RAW footage from the 6K, and then this was something else. So you do all this organization on your hard drive, and uh, you go to import it into Premiere, and it doesn't. Uh, you have to make a bin, and then import, and then you know go to wherever it is that your stuff is, uh, and then you have to do it by. You know, yeah, I'd, I would select these, open it, they would import, and then I would go and organize them um, as I see fit, you know, rename that, whatever, whatever. Uh, and that takes a lot of time. I've tried to, you would think that it would make sense, and I'm sure after Adobe sees this, they'll probably get to work on it, but um, you would think that you could just drop your uh, folder structure into uh, Premiere and it would just import everything correctly and whatnot, but it does not. I have found that it tends to leave out folders or uh, uh, files. It tends to, it, it just doesn't work. It's not drag and drop. So you have to do it through this or through the uh, media browser I, I have found is a little more <laughs> amicable. So Watchtower, I have uh, purchased it. Uh, the, the people who make Watchtower, perhaps the person, uh, has had no communication with me at all. I just saw this product and I was like, people need to know about this. It's going to save a lot of time. It's a little extension and um, it's in its own little window, but you can also just have it up here. Obviously my project name is Watchtower. So it's just these buttons. So you click that, it brings up this guy. It gives you your um, hard drives and whatnot. I want all the Blackmagic 6K stuff and I want all of it. So I'm just going to take all of it there and you can select if you want I'm going to guess that means solo. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the, I haven't really read anything about it. I've just used it. Um, so you just select which ones you want. Let's say I don't want, who knows, documents, whatever. So you hit OK. It then imports the files, tells me that these two photos, it doesn't know what they are. That's fine. Um, those are photos out of the uh, 6K. And then, boom. And it gives you a little notification way down here. 11 subfolders added. Um, yada yada and everything is exactly as it was in my uh, hard drive and then if I add things let's say we take one of these this export here and we go back and we drop that in other assets right boom there it is now you're here and you're like well I should probably go grab it and chuck it in here but watch this hit the refresh button, boom, there it is. And if I delete it out of here, out of Premiere, and then um, go and resync, it comes back. So you won't um, you won't delete anything if you delete it in Premiere. It, it is a one-way sync. Uh, for some people, I think that might be less than ideal maybe. Maybe in the future there will be a toggle for a two-way sync. I don't actually know if Premiere can send like system level delete commands. I, it must be able to, right? Point is, one way sync, um, if you delete it in Premiere, it's not gone forever, it stays in your folder. And I'm gesturing with my hands like you can see me because I'm just really excited because I know this is gonna save people a ton of time. Um, so that's Watchtower, that literally is all it is. It also has settings. 
Uh, you can have it automatically sync. Um, and again, this does work for After Effects. I haven't tried it there, but um, show import options. I didn't even know that was a thing. You can change the layout over here. You can uh, make it vertical if you want for, I guess that's smart. I, I kind of wish these would down here, these uh, tools would go vertical, but come on now. So that is Watchtower. Here's your uh, how to and whatnot. Oh, does it say what S means? Image sequences will be imported as sequences. Oh, that's smart. Thanks, buddy. So yeah, that is the app. I hope you see how um, excellent this is. It is $20, which I think is entirely reasonable. Um, I don't know if there's other apps that are plugins that do this, but it was just so small and effortless. And, uh, you know, it's nice to support people who are doing the work on their own or on a more local scale. So um, thank you to the Knights of the Editing Tower. Knights of the Editing Table. Um, they have a subreddit, which is where I didn't find it on theirs, hilariously enough, but you can join their subreddit if you are a Reddit person. Um, and that's that. So I hope that was informative and thank you for paying attention and I will see you guys somewhere else.